Hey guys, how you doing? This is uh, part two of um, my uh, comedian with cancer, prostate cancer. Well, I had the MRI and uh, they called me up. Dr. Gr uh, you know, uh, Grim Reaper called me up. Dr. Smuck and Balkum called me up. He says, Mr. Bacon, we have to have you come in and do a biopsy. So I said, okay, fine. So here's the thing about the biopsy, guys. I go in and, um, you know, put, put the Johnny on, go through all that crap. I sit down in this room and I wait and I wait and I wait. And then this young guy comes in. And this hospital I'm in is a teaching hospital. Dartmouth Hitchcock Hospital in Hanover, New Hampshire, which is a, a great hospital. It's great. But it's a teaching hospital because it's connected to Dartmouth College. So in walks this very young guy, right? He's a doctor, but he's an intern. He walks in, and the only thing I can think of as a comedian is, you know, it's Halloween night. And there's a knock on the door, and here's this little kid dressed up as a doctor. I mean, I swear to God, I was waiting for him to go in the corner and start playing with blocks. I mean, it was just unbelievable. And he sits down, he says, hi, Mr. Bacon, I'm Joshua, and uh, I'm here to prep you for your biopsy with Dr. Schmackenblock in there. I go, okay, uh, so what's going to happen? Oh, well, we're going to put you in there, and, and we're going to put a... We're going to put a tube in your ass, and uh, we're going to give you a local, and then we're going to punch holes in you, and we're going to take it. I, I, now, I'm making it sound terrible, but, I, you know, really, honestly, here's the deal. I'm telling you like it is, guys. I don't, I'm not here to kick, scare you, but he scared the crap out of me. Uh, no pun intended. Uh, so he, he's telling me that how they're going to do this. And uh, that it won't be bad. And, of course, they all say that. They, they say you're going to feel a little pinch, you know. I love that line doctors use. You're going to feel a little pinch. I would like to be standing in front of some guy I hate and, uh, and say to him, before I punch him in the face, you're going to feel a little pinch. So, you know, I, I take that with a grain of salt. So, anyway, he tells, I go, well, what are the... What are the are there any complications with this? Oh, well, there could be. Well, what are they? Oh, well, um, you know, you're going to have a little bleeding, you know, uh, when you urinate afterwards. But that's normal. But if it's too much, um, you'll have to come and see us. Okay. Oh, yeah. And th if, there, if there's a clot or a blockage and you can't urinate, you got to come and see us. Okay. Well, what do you do when I come and see you? Oh, well, we put a tube in your penis so you can pee. Okay, so now I'm horrified. She says, so I'll be right back and we'll bring you in. All right, so I wait and I wait and then they come and get me. The Grim Reaper's in there waiting with three other young guys that look like they're dressed up for Halloween too. And they put me on my side on this table and I'm laying there with my ass hanging out while they talk about football. Yeah, did you see that game last night? I'm not kidding you. And um, so I'm laying there, and I'm a little nervous, and, the, and the, the Dr. Schmackenhocken says, Oh, all right, Mr. Bacon, we're going to, uh, you're going to feel a little pinch, and we're going to put a, a tube in you, we're going to give you your local. And, and don't, don't, don't be afraid, don't be nervous. And I says, Well, I'm not afraid, but my ass is scared to death, buddy. And they all laughed, which is probably not a good idea to make them laugh when they're going to shove stuff in you. I keep saying this to myself, but I can't help myself. So they, they put this tube in me, and I felt the local hardly at all, guys. Yeah, I hardly felt it, honestly. That's the little shot they give you. And they waited a couple minutes, and then they put this uh, tube in me that goes into the area it needs to go into where the cancer is that they found in the MRI, the little patch of cancer there. And um, they start taking little snippets of it. And they do 16 of these 
And they, he told me they do them in a grid. And um, it, it felt like getting snapped with a rubber band, but not bad. So it wasn't intolerable at all. It was not bad at all. I was actually quite surprised. It took a while. I mean, it took about 20 minutes. And every time, and, and this is the funny part. My wife is in the other room. She can hear them talking to me. You're going to hear a pop. Every time you hear a pop, we're going to take a piece of you. And my wife said she heard this. And she said every time she heard the snap, she went, ooh. So <laughs> that was kind of funny. So anyway, when they were done, I was uncomfortable and a little sore. But I went right home. I went right home. And um, when I got home, uh, a little while later, I urinated and there was blood. And uh, that went on for a couple days, but then it cleared up. And I didn't feel any pain after that. I didn't feel any, nothing really, man. It wasn't bad at all. So now they got this biopsy, right? So now what I'm waiting for is the verdict on the biopsy to find out um, how aggressive this cancer is and how bad it is. Now, I'm told, as I'm sure a lot of you guys have been told that have prostate cancer, that uh, it's not a real aggressive type of cancer, and that's good. But here's the interesting thing. Um, they told me that I may have had this for years and didn't know it. So it's pretty damn lucky that they actually caught it. So now I'm waiting for the biopsy and I'm waiting for them to call me up. The Grim Reaper is going to call me up and tell me how bad my cancer is and what they got to do after that. So I guess I'll call this the end of part two. And, um, they're, uh, gonna let me know and when they do guys um i'll see you next week and i'll tell you what's going on man all right hang in there you guys and uh you know remember don't be a hater be a supporter please and uh uh you know if you want to like the video so more people will see this and subscribe i'd appreciate that and if this has helped you in any way or or there's something else you'd like me to discuss please put it in the comments man Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.